Hi everyone, this is Yuki and I am here with another video. This one is what's my mastery and what you can do to know your shoe. I will start with common things from your day to day, common things that keep repeating it's always there counting your attention and what that thing connects with your gift a gift you know is a gift of yours for example there's this move recent move from Snyder Herbal Moon and the Disney the Disney series Press Jackson and the Olympians these two titles reminds me of my first character, the first character I created several years ago. The character is a damn god of fire, inspired, inspired by the, the book Red Queen. I created her because I was playing a RPG around the background of the book. It's two things connect with my character is because Rebel Moon it's a, a gem, a storytelling that it's a lot about warriors and this first character was a warrior and it's survival mode. She really set it off for everything I created so far and each character keeps coming back the same teams just involving in the process I keep popping into the question of how can I be of service for everyone like it's just crazy I have been doing my research I had those times where I search for systems and this question is just repeating endlessly and the funny thing is you can only do questions you can only make questions to yourself so what are questions that you have to let life answer them how's for me is the questions that really ignite that really calls for you um, that you keep researching that you go to google search and it's always how this works it has to always be a thing that you know repeats into your life through the decades through your years through the past few years for me it's just i have a lot of history of fame being part of crews and managing stuff that is related to entertainment to um, performing and so how is it um, as I am a singer I have lot of, lots of music out there that you can check it out it's on my description boxes and if you how to do it so I keep searching those things I keep learning of course I have much much more to learn but that's the questions I keep repeating and those questions that I do keep leading me to places I can get the answer of the life of stage of recording how it is the process of promoting um, entertainment videos and how that feels do you you still want to know more about it when you actually are having those experiences you want to learn more and more about it for me it's just keeping this question and keeps coming like being the channel of something silent and expressive by its own entirety my life is life a life of questions that's the real thing I am here for. All that I do is a question, an inquiry of life, another inquiry. It's just like that. This is what I research, what I keep practicing. My service to others is to give um, 
my art, my dance, my singing, my beauty. That's, and that's the other thing about it. That's no reason out there. It's really have no reason. It's just something I want to learn every day. And probably it's just as well for you because we can pass a lot of her time searching, searching, and we have, and we do need these times. But at that point, this is in my gen keys, in my human design, that you, you reach a point that you can, you already search all that you could, now we have to leave the answer. And my mastery, uh, it's around everything that you can now connect these things. I love hip hop for a very, very long time. All arose from that. The concepts that brings you to states of consciousness with colors, clothes, and eternal questions of being. Because it's just a, a point where when we come to experience their concepts, the albums they face is a concept, a new concept, but it's still the same. It's different, but we keep going to the same zero point, the same awareness, the same energy. That's really something they absolutely want to breathe and live there for the rest of my life, living those you become an uh, eternal and this is what my characters mean to one is a state of consciousness a perspective within a timeline so you can always come back to those points and always they will come back there it is a concept it's a focus but it has layers and the more you go with it new layers will Bloom will appear, and I can talk of her a little more. First, you learn about magic and the universal laws. It's not precisely how I created them, the order, or how they came to me, because I really did, I did not create them. They came to me, through me, because that's this thing that we don't create we just become aware of something that already existed so all the research of the stars it's Isael um, is a guardian angel and, and how he connects with Beatrice is because he he guards and operates in a realm that it's about storytelling, videos, television, and art, and script, and all these things that Beatrice um, is not the author, but that's how it makes sense. Beatrice's clairvoyance attributing the meaning and making her own symbolism. Now with angels, you embody it and be the images yourself. And us that we create whatever we want with fate and mostly that and mostly there has to be something meaningful for us. So angels connect with Beatrice because you need the meaning and you do your research, you see what works and what not works. She is acting and fashion, representation of actors and their characters. And at then we come to Sun, that he presents us the rituals. It's precisely what keeps us persisting in whatever we are imagining. Whatever cry voice is my way of creating and it's my way of growing being and, and contact and other state of consciousness other realms magical moments to create to create this connection to this energy they complement each other and then it goes to Mayu who knows the power 
in having mastery of the martial arts and the mind. Balance the light and the dark that we hold. Because right now we are a state, we, we have the light and dark, but your true nature is not to have this duality, this war we have within us between your mind and your heart and she's is always this path so she reminds me and through focus directing this energy we are able to consciously regulate moods you see every single one is a operating power that calibrate and make a system which their point of focus so the truth of the covenant makes us conscious of what happened in the beginning of the times. So we are aware to not repeat past trails and integrate them in our consciousness. This is the embodiment of Michael preceding Mayu. The remembrance takes time within, takes mastery and connection to the energy the sun brings about. I absolutely love him. I would sit here and talk about him for hours and hours about I am because he has a knowledge that's very important for your time right now but his knowledge was provided in the beginning of time so I want to protect him with everything I have his energy is freeing but with him comes feelings that we need to feel and release whatever way it needs to be done so the rituals it have the duality because Michael and Sam represents the duality and it's a must we have to go through this so because it's always a process it's a path and Mayu it's this representation and after this information he transformation takes place diamond is the very state of knowing that we are holding many states within us so he, he's the one that may was the awareness that was possible for those perspectives assimilations to come true and he he's managed everything to make sense and he's capable to access so much information from those types assimilations within this multiverse one mastery leads to another and always a new layer we will submerge. That's why I love K-pop and their concepts because it's really the inspiration of all of those um, states that I have created. Demon is the one that holds it all. But Gabriel, as his soulmate, his everything, they are partners in crime. Um, it's the keeper, keeper of the Akashi records. That's how Timon has um, its one part of his mastery. Um, Gabriel is the embodiment of your inner shell and the dreams we had in your childhood. So he's part of this, but he's kind of coming back to the very start of everything. Because what's the reason for you doing all of this? What's the reason for having this laid out? Is it's coming back to childhood. It's not kind of childhood memories, but a shower that's always speaking, trying to speak with us. It does, it makes it full circle with Sakurai. We need some kind of representation of this experience beyond the limits of material reality. And who I speak first in the start of this video? Exactly her. She always will be the light. And we can we can go further than because light it's it's just the zero point. It always will come back to there and it will expand and make layers above another or beside another 
it's how the multiverse works and that can be put in the words but she's your fire she's is part of the conglomerate of the archangel Uriel and that was awareness I had to go a long process to become aware of that and I make some notes here we get closer to the states of rebirth and death through the detachment of your senses these three Gabriel, Timon and Sakurai representation uh, is the representation of the cycle of life life, death and rebirth so this is it's a very compelled a population of the uh, the characters I have created so far and they can be translated in a lot of dimensions and they are basically my mastery and I know that they will be expressing in many universe and many through many channels and, and the more I experience them the more they express themselves um, I'll become to being more aware of my mastery they got the questions inside themselves and my life will answer them it's a way to tell you how I create systems and it took really a lot of time to become aware how I go through this process and I know you have something also that it's very yours, very special, and you hold on to it very tightly. But it's very specific. I know it's very specific, you know it, but how you use it, make it come to contact with the material reality, how you make contact with another people. And I have laid out um, how you can know it, but your life. Um, your inner life, your imagination will give you the answers. So sit um, as much time you need it and really experience it. Uh, it's the experience of something you can't get enough. You just, because those characters is inspiring in our archangels and angels, in your mysticism my favorite things of all things and because i know my mastery is to rewrite them it's just something that i always come back to it's like um k-pop groups dance and all the stuff i hope this will be like a lighthouse tower to guide you or give you inspiration or the knowledge you need to explore all those questions and how is just a path and if you think you are out of it if you lost you it probably we just take um, some action but be certain you find a way so I will end it in here thank you once again for coming to the end of this video and see you in the next video.